Guys, I know NFTs have been in a bit of a rough spot recently, but in today's video, folks, I'm going to be showing you guys five Solana NFTs that honestly I think are so undervalued right now compared to all of the other NFT floors that seem to be pumping. These are the projects that are genuinely really good that I don't think enough people are talking about and maybe in the future will be talking about. So if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. As always, folks, this is not financial advice, just my personal opinion. So that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so the main way that I am doing research for this is by using NFT Inspect, which is a website where you could go and check and see essentially all of the different profile pictures for each NFT, how many profile pictures are in existence per NFT, uh, a overall ranking of community reach, and so much more. So there's a lot of great ways you could do research here, but our goal when looking at these projects is to find some way in which we could pick a project that does not have a million people tweeting about it yet, yet hopefully in the future will pump. So a few different data points that we want to look for obviously is an increase in the amount of profile pictures. So these top projects here have a lot of people that are using a unique profile picture. They're actually displaying their NFT on their page. And obviously you could compare that to the total supply, what percent of the total supply that makes up. Then of course you have a blanket percent of community reach. So there's a lot of different research here. You could do Solana, Ethereum, whatever you like, but definitely a good thing to try. Another thing I like to look at is just the main page here on Magic Eden, and actually you can find a lot of projects that are picking up in terms of volume near the bottom of the list. So say a project has barely cracked the top 12 here for the past hour, that might be a good sign that for some reason there is an overall shift towards purchasing it. So I find a lot of very small projects here that may be very cheap that for whatever reason are creeping up in terms of volume and I'll snag them up within the first hour of them reaching major popularity so this is definitely a very cool tool that magic eden has recently launched and i definitely recommend you take a look at it but before we go any further guys, let's talk a little bit about my Patreon. I have worked tirelessly to make this the best NFT group out there. By joining my Patreon, you guys get literally an insane amount of content. You'll get a custom Discord role, direct access to me in a DM, full access to Matt's NFT Dojo, crypto and altcoin trade signals, access to my exclusive NFT watch list, whitelist opportunities, priority access to my live streams, and so much more. To be honest with you guys, I think it's a steal for only $10 a month. And of course, if you guys would like to talk to me over voice in a voice call, you guys could always join the emerald and above tier which has that offered currently there are hundreds of people joining the patreon every month and they absolutely love it link down below in the description with that out of the way folks let's take a look at our first project which is cats on crack this project is honestly one of my favorite on the solana blockchain um extremely like funny comical nice uh looking artwork here very very uh you know sort of uh sort of tasteful in the way that this project has been designed and you will note that their twitter community is unbelievably strong uh i don't have to say it here there is a ridiculous amount of people uh, who are constantly tweeting at them responding and and engaging in their discord and events and all of that but more importantly cats on crack did have a floor price at one point in time of well over a hundred and if you take a look at their year graph you guys can see uh, right here that the floor price here displayed on april 25th was 92 but i feel like it was even higher than that the majority of them were listed well over a hundred at one point so the question is can cats return to that well you guys can see they enter uh, a sort of long period here uh, of a bear market so to speak uh, uh, really from May up until now, but uh, it takes a look as if they are creeping up uh, past their old line of resistance here, up past around 50, which does look to be the spot that could launch them back up to the 90s or 100s again. So definitely cool to see. There are not a lot listed, only 291 right now. That, of course, is subject to change by the time you watch this, but I would say Kets at around 50 is definitely not a bad deal. The next project that I wanted to look at here is something called Desolate's Metaverse, which is one of the coolest Metaverse projects I have actually seen, and they have already established some level of collaboration with DGods. So DGods is working with Desolate's Metaverse on building something in their Metaverse. I don't exactly know what, but regardless, um, the Desolate's sort of Metaverse world is the host of Soul Olympus, which is again what DGods is working on. So uh, definitely cool to see a lot of unique holders uh, of Desolate's and a floor of only 2.4 and if you take a look at their activity in the past you guys see at one point the floor was around six this was when d gods and them were tweeting a lot so definitely nice to see but 
there's not a lot of activity here, but uh, definitely not a whole lot of listings either. So uh, I definitely do think Desolates is a cool project. You will take a look at their Twitter and they are working on a multi-chain metaverse. Very, very cool project. And I do believe that in the future, uh, these guys will definitely make some stuff happen, uh, given the fact they already have a functional metaverse. So uh, here is a brief look uh, at what these guys have created so far. And even if you don't love the look of this, ultimately D Gods like the look of this and that ultimately is what I care about. The next project here is Soul Gods, which has some of my favorite artwork on the entire Solana chain here, with a floor right now of around 16. Of course, always subject to change depending on when you're watching this video, but you guys will note that out of a 6.7 thousand supply, there are only 259 listed. That is a very small amount, uh, given the fact that this project uh, is, is basically a blue chip, in my opinion. If you look at some of the activity in the past, you guys can see that we're, they were pushing a floor of around 60 at some point in early May. But uh, after they launched a few different collections, uh, it, it looks as if the value has gone down over time. But you'll note that really, Soul Gods is, in my opinion, one of the coolest projects out there, uh, given the fact they are part of the Fracture, which is essentially the larger brand that owns them and if you take a look at the fracture what they actually have uh, to offer they really are, are home to a bunch of different collections so this is obviously the main soul gods collection art here inspired by Giorgio de Chirico which is very very cool but they do have other collections out there um, that are all sort of rooted in this kind of style and I do think the fracture will do some pretty cool things in the future again you will take a look at their Twitter and these guys are all over uh, the NFT New York event, which was very cool. So out of the, the Solana groups there, they did make a pretty good impression from what I can see. Uh, and again, this does look to be very underpriced given the community. And you'll take a look, of course, at NFT Inspect and Soul Gods are doing pretty well with 770 people rocking a Soul God as their profile picture. So definitely cool to see. And it shows the community is definitely still alive. Another project that I like here that I think is very cheap as well is Fun Guys here with 3,000 happy-go-lucky mushrooms born on the Solana blockchain. These guys are actually also in association with D-Gods, and that is what I think a lot of people also look for. But Fun Guys and, of course, Desolates Metaverse, like I mentioned earlier, are both working with D-Gods, which is very cool to see. So uh, you'll take a look at the Fun Guy collection here. They recently launched uh, a 3D collection, but you guys can see here is uh, some collaboration here with Duppies, which is uh, the essential partner for D Gods. That is their new collection they are launching. So, uh, Fun Guys are tweeting with them. Uh, of course, definitely some nice looking 3D art as well. So, uh, overall, a very quality project with a strong community for only one Solana that uh, ultimately I do think could rise in the future as they partner with D Gods. D Gods seems to be the key to the uh, Solana universe these days. So, definitely do uh, keep in mind that Fun Guys guys and uh, and desolates definitely do have some access to those guys the final project I wanted to talk about today is honestly one of the coolest I have seen in recent times, and this is actually a very new project, The Art of Mob. So sitting around a floor of four, sometimes I'll see it at five Solana. Uh, this is actually a very, very nice looking uh, profile picture collection here with 10,000 of these Art of Mob uh, JPEGs here, of course. But what I like about this project is that they actually were going to launch with a crazy expensive mint price. I think it was like 25 or 30 Solana, and then last minute they snapped and decided uh, for the publicity of it and for the overall shock value to make it a free mint. So uh, they quickly did rise to four Solana, which is very cool for a free mint. And uh, you guys will notice that, again, the, the artwork is very quality here and the community here is rabid. There are a ton of people uh, on Twitter here. Obviously, they made it to the trending tab of Magic Eden and OpenSea. Uh, you guys will also see a lot of major influencers here uh, trading over you know $1.3 million in less than 24 hours. Hours. But what's also very cool is that on this project, uh, there were some very, very large uh, people who actually built this. So this is not just the average uh, NFT builder. I think it was either two people from Hollywood or two people. I forget what the actual credentials of the people were, but uh, this project was created with very good funding in mind, not just the average, you know, the gen NFT free drop that you might find on Launch My NFT. So definitely a group of people with good credentials here. Again, very strong Twitter community, 170,000 followers, and very strong Discord community. Uh, overall, these guys just look to be 
doing everything right. So uh, again, if you see Ketz and D-Gods tweeting at them, uh, you're probably on the right track. So uh, definitely do like Art of Mob. There is a good deal listed, but I think when we take a look uh, at the overall activity and the amount of people uh, who are actually trading them, again, the trading here is non-stop. And there are a lot of people uh, who really, really, really do uh, seem to like this project. So well, with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I always do appreciate it. With that being said, folks, my name is Matt. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.